Every once in a while, Apple does something that makes you go, hmm, that would actually be pretty awesome. And the latest one, in my opinion, is about a rumor, report, leak, whatever you want to call it, about a codename project called T288. Very infamous sounding, but supposedly it refers to an augmented reality headset, or virtual reality headset, maybe, we're not really sure, obviously, but Either way, it's something worth talking about. And supposedly this VR AR headset is gonna have some pretty crazy specs. For example, 8K displays for each eye. That's extremely high, higher than what we have in any mainstream device now, like Oculus Rift and the Vive have about 1440p. So I mean, 8K, that's insane. That being said, the supposed release date that they're going for is actually around 2020, so that makes a lot more sense. Apple has said in the past that a lot of times they have really great ideas for projects, but they literally have to wait for the technology to catch up to it before they can even make it viable. A little bit more information about how this would work is that it would use Y gig Wi-Fi. So right now we have things like 802.11 AC, which uses five gigahertz, frequency, but this would actually use 60 gigahertz frequency, which has been introduced to some routers. But the thing is, even though it has extremely high bandwidth, like 40 gigabits plus, it doesn't go through walls. The frequency is so small and the wavelength is so small that it can't pass through even the thinnest and least durable objects. So that would actually be a pretty good use case for VR, where if it's in the same room or it's in a direct line of sight, then it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to go through walls. And that way you can either have it set up as like just a pure wireless base station, or potentially they would set up an own, their own standalone box where all the computation and rendering would be done in its own little unit and you wouldn't even need a high-end PC at all. Of course, that definitely means we're gonna to have to wait a couple years for them to develop something powerful enough to run two 8K displays off a little box. Of course, a lot of the viability depends on what they're actually gonna use this headset for. Like, obviously, if it's gonna be a little box like that, probably not gonna be playing high-end games on it, but if they're just gonna be using to overlay information and little pop-ups and stuff, you probably don't need that much computing power anyway, especially with Apple, the way they design their hardware, it actually is very, very efficient and high power for what it is. So I think they could probably pull it off. But let's talk more about how serious Apple is about this. I mean, there's plenty of rumors about so many companies working on this or that, but I think Apple is actually very interested in AR. Uh, some evidence for that is they released the AR kit for the iPhone X and the other iPhones. So it seems like they're actually making a dedicated effort towards augmented reality. So the natural next step is to have one that goes on your face. I mean, that's kind of like the sci-fi the sci dream, right? To be able to walk around with like glasses that show you whatever information you need that's kind of invisible. And another interesting twist about this whole thing is they're gonna be developing a new operating system to run this machine on. So right now we have like iOS, Mac OS, TV OS. Now they're gonna be apparently calling this ROS for reality operating system. Makes sense if it's a whole new line of products, a whole new type of device, it makes sense that they would develop a special version of their operating systems for it. Now, in my opinion, do I think Apple is gonna actually be able to pull this off by 2020? I don't know, obviously. I would think it might take a couple more years than that. I mean, it seems like they're very, very ambitious about it. So I would hope they can do it. It seems like people have said they've been setting a very hard, aggressive deadline for it. So they might be working on this in secret and just come out of nowhere. This might be their next iPhone moment, you know what I mean? Recently, it seems like Apple hasn't been innovating a lot, or at least before anyone else. They do have a track record of at least releasing products that are polished when they do release it. So they wait, but they do it right, except for Apple Maps, that was kind of a disaster. But in general, they do things right when they finally release it. But this might change that. They might just come out of the gate, surprise everybody with something that is truly revolutionary. A couple of the reasons why I think it might take a little bit longer, of course, two years is a long time, but just looking at the current technology, I mean, you already have massive companies like Facebook 
and Valve and Google working on the same project. And while we do have pretty amazing products like the Oculus Rift, which does do a great job and it truly is awesome, I mean, we don't have 8K yet, right? But then again, the Oculus Rift is made to play high-end games. Lots of rendering power required. Maybe that's not even what they're going for. But then you also have to look at the hardware itself. Even if you don't need a ton of computing power behind it, no matter how you slice it, 8K displays are difficult to manufacture that small, I imagine, and even more difficult to manufacture cheaply. So we would have to wait for them to be able to develop the technology in the first place and then find a way to get the cost down next. Another thing I would speculate is it's almost certainly going to use inside out tracking. So you got the Oculus Rift where there's the lights on the headset and the camera is really determine where the position is. With the Vive, you have these laser things and then the headset has the sensors on to determine where it is. And then we have, in my opinion, the best, most convenient option, which is like the Windows Mixed Reality headsets, which just has cameras and like HoloLens, which it is untethered. You don't need any sensors or lasers on the outside at all. You can just walk around with it and it maps everything using cameras and depth sensors. Now, is that better accuracy wise than the other options? Maybe not right now, but the HoloLens tracking is pretty darn good. I have to say, there's no issues with it at all. If you don't know, I already have a HoloLens and it has amazing tracking. Never had any issues with it. So if they can pull that off with AR, I mean, that's the way to go. And there has been some question about whether they're going for virtual reality or augmented reality. I definitely think it's gonna be augmented reality and I believe Tim Cook has said that he prefers the idea of augmented reality anyway. And the reason I think it's gonna be the winner in the long run is augmented reality, once you advance the technology enough, it's gonna be able to do everything that virtual reality can do anyway. So with virtual reality, you basically have to replace everything around you with like a headset, block it all out. Whereas augmented reality, it inserts images in front of you, but if you think about it, I mean, eventually you're gonna to get to the point where it can insert images to block out everything else and replace it all anyway. So I think augmented reality is clearly going to be the future where it kind of acts like both. Will it be able to do that anytime soon? Probably not. I think virtual reality is gonna stick around because you can get a much better virtual reality experience with the technology now just by blocking everything out, whereas with augmented reality, you're gonna to have to improve that technology first. But like I said before, I really do hope that Apple is gonna just blow the doors off every other company working on this and just out of nowhere in 2020 release, we have perfect augmented reality. You can put on this uh, very subtle pair of glasses and it does everything that sci-fi has promised us and that would be amazing. I think it would be like the next iPhone moment, right? Before we had phones that were called smartphones, they had touch screens, they were kind of cool, but then Steve Jobs comes out with this truly revolutionary iPhone and it was just the next level. So right now we kind of have things like VR, pretty awesome in itself, even Google Glass, which kind of flopped, but it was still pretty cool. And then HoloLens, which is genuinely amazing, it's just giant. So if Apple comes out and just leapfrogs over everything else, that would be a big deal in my opinion. And the final reason I'm hoping Apple in particular does this is because a big giant hurdle, maybe even the biggest hurdle to augmented reality adoption is social acceptability. I mean, you saw with Google Glass, even though the thing wasn't even that big, it was just a little thing, people got freaked out. They thought they were being recorded all the time, even though that was not viable because the battery was so small. They thought it looked weird, which it kind of did. But here's the thing, everyone knows if Apple releases something, it's instantly popular and people would say, oh, it's that Apple device. People might laugh at it, but there would also be just as many people who are willing to wear it and not care, because they're like, yeah, well, what do I care what other people think? It's an Apple product. And then that would slowly get to the point where augmented reality would just be recognized as a somewhat normal thing, even though some people might think it's kind of weird, they wouldn't get freaked out, they wouldn't like kick you out of bars for wearing it, which did happen with Google Glass to some people. So I think if a company is gonna be able to do AR right, it will be Apple, so I'm 
I genuinely have high hopes for Apple on this. So you guys can let me know what you think about this. Would you wear a pair of augmented reality glasses made by Apple? Does it depend heavily on what they look like? Obviously, if they look like big stupid glasses, I don't think anyone would. But if it's more like a Google Glass where it's almost invisible, then I think it could catch on pretty easily, especially if they work really well. So we can talk about that down in the comments, of course. And if you wanna keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here. You can just click on those. And if you wanna subscribe and make a couple videos every week, should be worth it. And don't forget to enable notifications by clicking the bell next to the subscribe button or else YouTube might not even show you the new videos anyway. So as usual, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.